In terms of design and functionalities, Mac OS is undoubtedly a fantastic operating system, but you can only enjoy it if you have a Mac, but if you are like me, who is also a big fan of the versatility and freedom that Linux gives us, in today's video I will show you how to transform the look of your Linux Mint into something very similar to Mac OS. I've used elementary OS in the past, which promises similarities with Mac OS, however, despite the visual appeal, on a daily basis, Distro ended up disappointing me, for several reasons, so it's been a while since I've been using it on my work laptop, Linux Mint, which is much more robust, and which has as one of the great features, the possibility of customization. If you are still stuck with Windows but would like something that really works, and that the migration was not complex, on the contrary, it was simple and fluid, I recommend Linux Mint, it is 100% free, secure, and migrating Windows to it is very easy, in addition to this your computer will be much faster, because it is a light operating system. Now let's talk about how to change the look of Linux Mint to the look of Mac OS, but first let's take a little tour of the system, to start, by wallpaper, I'm using this official Mac OS wallpaper, but you can easily include any type of wallpaper, right clicking and then and change desktop background, and choose any wallpaper you want or taking advantage of the templates that Linux Mint itself offers, they are very beautiful. At the top we have some applets, to start with the centralized date, which despite not being the current default of Mac OS, I like it better, but you can put it in the right corner if you want, when we click on it, it opens the calendar, with the look very similar to that of Mac OS, then in the right corner, we have the battery status, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, the weather forecast, which despite not having in the Mac OS menu, I like it very much, and it is very detailed, I have the button to go to the desktop and finally the off button, and in the left corner, we have the Apple logo, instead of the Linux Mint logo. In the base we have one of the main visual appeals of Mac OS, the animated dock. I know it's not absolutely the same as Mac OS, but it's very similar, I like it a lot. If we click on the Apple logo, we will open the menu with all the apps, note that system apps and some third-party apps look like Mac OS icons, this helps a lot in customization. When we enter the file app, see that the folders have also been customized to emulate the look of the Mac file manager, and all applications take on the same design of closing and minimizing windows, just like in Mac OS, with the red, green and yellow buttons in the left corner. Now let's see how to do all this. Let's start with the applets from the top menu, first you must access the system settings, click applets, and here you will have a series of options, here you can mark what you want to make visible, some are already installed such as battery control, Wi-Fi and audio control, Bluetooth, notifications, and clicking here on downloads, you can download others, such as the central calendar and the weather forecast. There are many options. By right-clicking on the top menu, click on panel settings, here you do the fine adjustment, such as the width of the top menu. By right-clicking and activating this switch, from panel edit mode, you can rearrange the layout of the applet icons. Now, let's customize the system theme to be the same as Mac OS, if you go to the system settings, click on themes, here you can download a wide variety of themes made by the community, make the settings by clicking here, and make the fine adjustments, such as the type of mouse tip, visual of the applications, icons and desktop visual, everything is very simple to be done, without great knowledge. But in the case of the Mac OS style look, it is not yet possible to do it here, you need to go to the official page of the White Sur theme, which is on GitHub, I will leave the link in the description, it's safe, don't worry. Here the developer teaches step by step how to install all the customizations, including indicating the commands that should be executed in the terminal, it provides a series of color schemes, styles, even the look of Firefox you can change, it is possible to change the login screen, include wallpapers that change the colors according to the time of day and you can also download all the icons. It may seem very complex, but it is not, just follow exactly the step-by-step -step described on the developer page, after everything is installed, you go back to the theme configuration screen, and select the look of the White Sur applications, icons and desktop, in dark mode, or light, or dark solid, or white solid, according to your preference. After you do this, all the icons will have changed, the layout will have changed. Now you right click on the Linux Mint icon, then on configure, and here select the Apple logo. Now, let's go to the icing on the cake, the animated dock. 
First if you have your original dock here at the base of the screen, let's change its place so as not to conflict with the new dock, just activate that panel edit mode key again, note that all the edges are colored, so simply with the mouse drag your current dock from the base to a side, don't worry, then we'll delete it. Once this is done, disable the panel edit mode key. Now, go to your Linux Mint app store and search for the Plank app, and click install. When running the app, you will see that automatically create a new dock in your database. With the mouse, right-click on the base of the dock, pressing the control key at the same time, and the settings screen will open. Here you can change the theme, then we will put the Mac OS theme, check the icon zoom key, to activate the dock animation, resize the size of the icons according to your preference, then click on docklets, and double click on the trash can, so that it is included in the dock, just like in Mac OS. Now, you go to your file manager, to the local folder, then share, and then plank, and finally, themes, your folder will be empty. Open another window with the file manager, go to the white sur gtk theme master folder, then to scr, then to other, to plank, and copy the two folders that appear here, and paste there in the other window you left open. A tip, if you are not seeing these folders, it is because they are hidden, so just click with the right mouse button and mark show hidden files, and everything will be visible. Now, go back to the dock settings, as I explained before, and select the theme, the new themes you copied will be here. Now, open the apps you want to include in your DOC, and right click on them and check keep in dock, then you can close that they will already be fixed. Finally, organize in the order you want, and delete what you no longer want. Finally, let's delete the old dock, which is on the side, activate the panel edit mode key again, and simply delete this side menu, then disable the panel edit mode key. Now an important tip, you need to warn Linux that it should open when initializing Plank, so in the top menu look for startup applications, click more, and select Plank, ready, your new dock will be ready. Now, your Linux Mint will look like Mac OS, but with the functionalities of Linux, which ends up being a beautiful marriage. There are other fine configurations you can do, I always discover something new, it's cool to test, if you don't like it, just undo it, Linux is very customizable. If you liked it or have other customization tips to teach me, leave your comment, I would love more tips. Thanks for watching and see you next video.